Right then, let's see what happens with this. It's a better time of day, so let's put this on choke. Can you see here, David? Can you see that? Yeah, I'll put that on choke. You think it'll be alright, this one? Yeah. I got it running last night, but only for a minute. Let's see what happens. Right, so I'm sure you'll agree that's working uh, a lot better than it was uh, this time yesterday. So I think it's just running a little bit quick. I mean, the idea of this is they never work great, don't these? It's never going to hide, it's never going to tick over like a Honda or anything like that. But the idea is you've got some uh, difference between fast and slow. I can never really see the difference of having any of that. I, I, I don't know anyone that uses it. The only thing you really need it for is to put it onto choke, which of course wasn't working anyway. Um, and as I showed as well, this uh, the drive all appeared to be working well. And I didn't get my arm ripped off when it uh, tried to start either, which as you can see here, this handle's been broken off. So I'm going to give this, uh, put the air filter box back on, I'm going to give this a bit of a clean up, and then we'll have a look at doing some servicing on it as well. So I'm just going to give this bit of a, a bit of a clean up now, because I should have done this first, but I'm always a bit eager to, um, just to start getting working on it, see if I can get it going. Uh, so I'll just clean this up. Just avoid, if you do this, just avoid the air filter box and things like that. I just want the main bit to grass off, especially down the back of the wheel. I'll just give this a little clean up, then I'm going to cut these horrible green cable ties up here. We'll replace them as well. Ready? Are you filming me? Yeah. Right, well what we're going to do is <coughs> going to put these cable ties off, these horrible green cable ties. we try going here. Look. I should have some nice black ones, that should make a difference, shouldn't it? So let's start by doing that, that's an easy job, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Making sure not to cut through the cable. I'll just trim these off here, look. We'll get that one off, look. We'll put another one on. Just to help the appearance of this a bit. I'll just put it where it's not going to get caught in the handle. Tighten that up. And I always like to cut them off as well. Let's just put them around the bottom. I like to put them to the bottom of these and then just cut them off. That's one. Then we'll try and do these at the bottom. In fact, what I'm going to do, just in case, I've actually had these run really badly if the cables get moved. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cable tie the black ones on in a similar position. Shouldn't make any difference, but somehow it just does sometimes. I want to cable tie the, bl the black ones on in a similar position here. And I think I'll put one on here as well just to keep it tidy and then I'll take off the uh, the green ones at the bottom which look really quite a mess I really don't like them on there that'll look terrible if you take a photo of the photograph to sell let's just knife that off and just bring that around there a little bit and that's it, so the cables are nice and down the side and the, uh, all the cable ties are underneath so I'll just take that off I could do with a bit of knife really but there we go I've got that off and the cables are all nicely in position, we've cleaned this off as well. So I'm just going to check this oil, I know there's a bit in it. I hate this because this is another thing I don't like about these. The whole thing, the whole thing comes off. You know, the dipstick don't actually come out. You end up with the whole thing coming. Can you see that? Can you see this? Yep. See that? You can never end up like that. So you can never, it always, always sticks, every single time. Probably because nobody ever goes in it. And then, really, to screw this back on here and get it tight, you need to set the petrol tank off, which is a bit of a faff. But anyway, I'll stop moaning and uh, I'll just put that on. 
I've just cleaned this off here. Can you see the edge of here? We need it to be between these two marks, this oil. So we'll see how much we've got in. Just put it in. I usually thread these in to check, I think. You do on the old style one, so I'll thread it in. And just see how much we've got. So, absolutely next to zero showing on the stick. So that's not a good sign. Um, just have another go thread that right in and make sure. I thought I'd check this to be honest, I do normally. Uh, yeah, this has hardly got any oil in it all. So I'm going to top this up with oil and we'll re-measure this. Okay. We'll just top this up a little bit. I usually take half a pint of oil leaves. I think it's around half a pint of oil just to uh, take them from absolutely nothing to where they want to be. So I'll just put a bit in, I don't want to have to take any out. I'll just top it up a little bit more, I just want a little bit more in. Not too much really, and that should be good to go. It's, uh, what I've put in is very clean, it actually makes me wonder sometimes. I'm not saying that I haven't, <laughs> it actually makes me wonder if it's, these sometimes have ever had any in at all. It would be a bit uh, strange, but anyway, I'll just put that in. At least it's nice and clean when I get it out, isn't it? Because it's had none in it. Let's take that out again. Yeah, and that's right in between where we want to be. It's pretty clean as well as that. So I'm happy with that. So even when you're cleaning stuff off, just even cleaning here, get this mess out of here. It, it looks like a newer, a newer mower, which of course it is. I even take all the, not all the dirt out of it, but I'll get as much out as I can. I even clean just little bits like this off. Makes a difference as you're going round. I think I'm going to do this pull cord as well. But just before I do that, I'm going to do the uh, easy bits first. Just going to change this spark plug over. So nice and easy, very cheaply, very cheap to do. Got another spark plug in here. Something else you can sell. People like to know it's had the oil done. They like to know it's had the spark plug done. They like to know it's had the blade sharpened. People like picking things up that have been serviced and they know they're going to be okay. They don't mind parting with a little bit of uh, a little bit of money for something like that. Pop that back on there. That plug, uh, I know that's been working okay, I'll probably just keep that on my uh, shelf in here. We'll put that on here, David, for next time. I know it's a good spark plug, not a bit worse than it, is it? No. Nope. Put that there, and I can use that for my test one next time. It is a bit of a mess, but I know it's working alright. Okay. So the next thing I, uh, the next thing I want to do is clean, is uh, do the blade, but I'm not going to do that today. I've actually hurt my back at the minute, it's not too good. I don't really want to start lying on the floor and tipping this up and trying to take it off. And also, what I want to do is take the uh, the belt guard off, so I think I'll wait till it's dried out a little bit out here. Take this off, save getting wet grass uh, everywhere, trying to lie on the floor in the wet. But what we can do while we're here, if you want, David, should we do this recoil cover? Yeah. Take this uh, recoil rope. Can you see the rope? Yep. We'll take that off, and I'm not going to film that, I've done that on loads of previous videos. So we'll change that, and we'll see if we've got one of these for the end. What do you think about the handle? Mm -hmm. you get a good shot of that? Yep. We'll try and get another one of those on there. These are real easy to get off on here, we'll just take these three parts off. And lift it off. If you look, if I undo these, real simple to do. Just take all these off, just slacken them off. Okay. We'll just lift that off there, like that. What I like to do with these as well is put these parts back on here so I know where they are, so they don't get lost. Slide them back on there. They'll be easy to find afterwards, won't they? Yeah. And then We'll, uh, on there. we'll take this on here. Some of these are different. This one's hooked in here, so I'll have to use a spanner on here as well. I'll have to back this right out of here to get this cord out. Okay. I've just unhooked that out of there. And we've got this whole thing off, haven't we? Yeah. We can pull this out and clamp it from the other side and cut it off. And then we'll put a new pull cord on as I've shown in some of the previous videos and we'll pop this back on. So I've put myself uh, another pull cord on this, you can see it's just uh, tidied it up a little bit just from uh, a distance, it just looks a bit newer doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so we've got the oil done, we've got the new plug in it, we've got the carburetor serviced, we've got a new pull cord on and it's all working as it should include in the drive, we're going to clean it up and we're going to sharpen the blade and I'm also going to take off the, uh, the blade cover underneath as well which um, sometimes collects grass. The reason for doing that as well is it so it doesn't drag the drive belt off. If you get loads of grass under the cover which I'll show you in the next video it can actually drag the drive belt off and it means you've got a self-propelled 
lawnmower that uh, won't drive anymore which is a bit of a shame which uh, certainly will devalue it so I'm going to make sure that that's okay and then uh, really there's not a lot else to do a nice little mower it's going to turn into a decent mower is this one right I'm just in the middle of a water pistol fight but uh, I need to take the blade off this mower and clean out this guard underneath so I'm going to take the plug off it says make sure you tip this machine backwards but as long as there's not much fuel in it you tip the carburetor side up be okay and I'm going to get under here you can see I don't need to tip it all the way up just a little bit make sure these uh, make sure these pins are on here wait as well as you can see here I'm trying to point to there and look underneath just a second make sure these are intact as well if you want these sat on the blade properly but what I want to do is take the blade off so I can get this guard off under here I want to be able to get uh, sorry I'm just filming in the sun at the minute it's not easy to see just a second Right, here we go. What I want to do is get this guard up under here, take the blade off, and uh, just take clean any uh, any grass out of here so the belt don't get dragged off. What happens a lot with these is the belt gets dragged off. If there's too much grass in them, you can tell it hasn't done a lot of work because there's not a lot of uh, grass really stuck to the underside of here. This just wants wire brushing off under here, all this lot, and it'll save this deck from rock uh, this deck from rotting <laughs> in a, a few years' time. So I'll do that. I've got the plug undone and out of the way so I'm not going to come to any house so I'm going to get the blade off spray that up with WD-40 and wire brush it so I've got a nice sharp edge to get my socket on so it doesn't slip and round off and I'm going to take this off here I think usually you undo it from here and I think at the back of here as well I think there's normally a screw it's probably just covered in dirt actually let's see if I can see I think there's a screw in there and you undo that there might even be one at the back so we'll try that I'll uh, go get some tools and we'll take this off. Just whip this blade off here. You can see here it's, it's virtually new. This You can still see the original cutting edge here. It's hardly done any work at all, hasn't this mower? Um, it's still nice and sharp to be honest. I'll just give it a bit of a tidy up and take any massive nicks out of it with a grinder, but it's like new is that. I mean, this, this has hardly cut any grass at all. This is going to be a great mower for somebody. I actually considered keeping it for myself. The one for the faff with the carburetor. I, I thought about selling my other one and keeping it, but just because it's a bit newer but uh, I can't resist the profit if I'm honest so I've got that off um, I'm just going to get some uh, sockets out of here and I'll take that uh, guard off from underneath don't take the blade adapter off there's no need when you've got a, a belt that's driven as well because you'll have a, a faff getting it back on so just take off what you need to get off to get the grass out I've just unbolted this here and you can, I can actually put my hand around here I can actually feel that this is even though it's new, it's full to the top. That's just one chunk of what I've pulled out. And if you don't keep this tidy under here, it will pull the blade off and you will have a mower that doesn't propel. This is a sign of people cutting the grass when it's sort of, you know, two foot long. And they've left it for ages and ages because it just gets straight under here. This is why you need to keep on top of these things. And this is why you need to, to look at these things before you sell them on. Because when you're doing this at first, you might think it'll be all right, and then you get someone in, like message you like a day after saying, "Oh, the, the belt's come off. I only had it a day," and you know things like that. So just take it off, and it takes a minute. I can't get this one off here. I'm just going to wire brush this off and unscrew it. I'll take this off and show you what's inside. So this is what I have in the uh, the underside of this belt guard. This is what was in it. You know, I'm not making it up. That's how full it was, and that's why these belts here easily get ripped off from here and they're a bit of a pain to get back on around the back of here as well it's not a job you want to be doing so while I'm here I'm just going to uh, wire brush off under here clean all this off clean this out just take all this I mean look how much is in here look it's full it'll clean that out and pop it back definitely worth doing before you sell the mower 